You can't go wrong with any of these DIY ideas, especially if you've waited until the last minute. Your Facebook and Instagram feed and your wallet will vote yes to these two. Hi, my name is Abby and welcome to The O'Hares. Halloween always sneaks up on us fast and it's easy to lose track of time, especially if you're a busy mom like me. Luckily, I got these last minute Halloween costume ideas for your kids that will inspire you to create your next DIY projects and they won't take much time to make. It's easy to throw these creative looks on our list together with just a few accessories and a little makeup. In our last upload, we showed you five costumes and in this video, we're going to show you five more so you have more options. Please click this link right here to watch that video. So what are we waiting for? Let's roll the second part! We're going to turn my kids into Lego pieces for the first set of costumes in this segment. The things I use are four cardboard box pieces. The size you use depends on the size of your children. Orange and blue crepe papers. You can use any color. Used paper bags with handle. One is small and one is medium sized. These bags will also serve as their trick or treat bags. Masking tape twine and a pair of scissors. I also use glue to attach the blue crepe paper to the cardboard. Once attached to the cardboard, I trim away the excess paper. Because the paper didn't cover the cardboard completely, I cut another small strip to ensure it's covered. I do the same process to cover the other piece. Then, I cover the medium-sized paper bag with blue paper using glue. Now for the second costume, I do the same to cover the smaller cardboards and paper bag using orange crepe papers. What I'm doing here is using the bottom of spray adhesive can to trace the circles on the paper and cardboard. Here they are after I cut them out. I then attach the circle papers to the circle cardboards using glue. Then attach them to the paper bags and the front side of the cardboards. Now using the twine and masking tape, I attach the two pieces of cardboards on the inside, leaving enough room between the two pieces of cardboards to fit on my child's shoulders. I do the same for the blue set. And this is how they look in the Lego costume. <laughs> this
This is a very simple costume you can go to an indoor pool after going trick or treating. The items I'm using for these outfits are my son's swimming trunks, his sunglasses, toy whistle, my daughter's bathing suit, her sunglasses, my son's hat, scissors, duct tape, white paper with the words lifeguard, thick paper for backing, and glue. The only thing I need to create is a lifeguard sign to attach to my son's hat. I cut the words and attach it to the thick paper using glue. I cut the thick paper out. Using the duct tape, I attach the lifeguard sign to his hat. And that's how easy it is! In this set of costumes, I'm using apron, chef's hat, spatula, white onesie, pink fluffy cloth, assorted multi-acrylic pom-poms, white thread, needle, and scissors. The only thing that needs to be created is my daughter's strawberry cake with sprinkles costume. Strawberry cake is pink so I use a pink cloth. First, I lay the onesie flat on the table and fold the pink cloth to the size that covers the front of the onesie. I sew the cloth to the onesie. Now the sprinkles. I pick different colors of pom-poms and spread it around on the pink cloth where I want to sew it. And that's all there is to it. And this is what it looks like on my kids. By far, this set of costumes are the most time consuming, but don't worry, it's not that difficult to make. My daughter has a rainbow-colored tutu dress that fits perfectly with his rainbow concept. This is handmade by a friend of mine and if you don't have one, it's easy to find and make. These are the rest of the materials that I use. Acrylic paint set and brush. Cardboard, preferably white. Scissors and glue. White paper and rope cotton balls, hat and stapler, large white paper bag, white and blue acrylic pom-poms, spray adhesive, and white thread and needle. I'm gonna begin with making the cloud hat. I dismantle a large size white paper bag and spread it out to cover the top of the hat. Using the stapler, I attach the paper at the edges of the hat. I trim the excess paper as I attach it. I use spray adhesive to attach the cotton balls to make a cloud effect.
let's create the rain. I segregate the pom-poms, alternating in sizes and colors, in lines, to create the raindrops. I sew them about 2 inches apart. After I have enough raindrop strands to cover the circumference of the hat, I attach them using tape. And now I have a rain and cloud hat. It's time to start working on the rainbow. First, I take the large piece of cardboard and trace a shape of rainbow on one end and then I cut it out. In the other end of the cardboard, I traced a smaller semicircle to represent the bottom of the rainbow and also cut it out. Now I attach the white papers using glue Cut the excess out. We now have a surface we can paint for the rainbow. If you're doing this project with your kids, now is a good opportunity to teach them the colors of the rainbow. I'm not an artist and this doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to represent the colors of the rainbow. Now I use glue to attach the cotton balls to the left and right edge of the rainbow as clouds. While I let it dry, I take a piece of cardboard in a long rectangular shape and poke four holes for shoulder straps that is attached to the rainbow. I use ropes to make the shoulder straps, cutting two pieces at about a foot in length, pushing each through the holes. paint is dry and now I can attach the shoulder strap board to the rainbow using duct tape that I forgot to mention in the beginning. Sorry. And here's the rainbow. And now I have a unique costume set. Last but not the least, later I will use makeup to create the vampire look. The rest of the materials I use are green crepe papers, fake flower bouquet, cardboard box, spray adhesive, and scissors for the photo frame. My son will wear a barong, which is basically a Filipino long-sleeved white button-up shirt. And my daughter has a white church dress to wear. Let's make the frame. I cut the cardboard in long 2-inch strips.
Then, I attach them together, making the picture frame. Once I have completed a frame, I cut the green craig paper in two inch strips as well. And use spray adhesive to attach it to the frame. You can use any color you prefer. I could have used orange because it's Halloween, but I already ran out of orange papers. One more thing I forgot to mention are kebab sticks that I attach to the back of the frame to make it sturdy using masking tape, making sure I cover the pointed ends of the sticks for my kids' safety. And here you have the scariest cute kids around! Before you start filling up your Amazon cart or rush to the craft store, take a closer look at what you already own because most of these costume ideas on our list are simply just elevated version of what your kids already have hanging in their closet. Before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to get notified and get updated with our latest videos. We thank you for watching and hope you already picked your kids next Halloween costume. See you again! The family stuff the matters!